Hi, this is Steve Allen, and I want to let you know what i am been doing this past month and give you a studio report. Today is Friday the 19th of February, and it's still 2010. Here's a uh, new painting I started uh, just a couple of days ago of uh, three flying geese. Uh, geese are, these Canada geese are quite common along uh, the Front Range in the Fort Collins area. They're quite a magnificent sight. And uh, I think it was here in Fort Collins that the geese learned that they could stick around and eat during the winter and they didn't have to fly south. And uh, there's been quite a few of them around, but and sometimes they make you stop when you're driving along when they uh, one across the street one by one. But hey, they're still a magnificent sight. They're very beautiful and uh, inspiring, and I, I hope that I can uh, do them some justice as I paint this painting. Aha! Dinner plate. Uh, this will project I'll have to start today, get some gesso on this plate. It's um, going to be for a project celebrating downtown Fort Collins. A lot of the restaurants have uh, specials during this time and uh, I think it's really neat that the uh, artists are getting involved. However, I have to decide what I'm going to paint on this plate. And I only have about 10 days to do it. So, uh, what will my inspiration be? I'm kind of thinking one of my uh, photos from my Holga Fisheye. But I'll have to make the selection. Ah, the Ring of Broger. I haven't worked on this painting in about six weeks now. I've just... Um, I guess I intimidated, intimidated myself in that this is um, such an awe-inspiring sight to be amongst the standing stones in Scotland. And I've really liked how the painting started. I just have to get ready to finish up the painting. And I think pretty soon, by next month, I'll have it done. But it's... Um, Maybe I just like the inspiration of having the idea of the stones in my studio. Who knows, but I've dialed long enough. It's time to get going on it. This is a fun pastel project of an old cranky giraffe from the zoo. Uh, I think I got the drawing down pretty well. I'm having trouble coming up exactly with the colors I want to use. Uh, in that light pinky brown of the um, giraffe's fur away from the big spots is uh, being tough to mix. But I don't know. When I saw this old boy at the zoo that day, I just had to paint him. Just one of those things you got to do. So finally, I'm getting it done. Sometimes it's good to put things aside for the aside for a while that you're working on. Um, still working on the polar bear. I see that I've got a uh, straight line of color across his forehead, and I have to change that. But um, the main thing I've been thinking about is how to get the idea of the thick, thick fur of uh, the polar bear, and. Uh, I've been experimenting with some different white pastels, but really haven't found the uh, the type of pastel, the softness that I want to use for the fur yet. But uh, one of these days, he'll tell me, "Get me done." I'm tired of waiting. Getting a lot of unfinished paintings. Uh, but that seems to be the way I paint. I get a lot of product, projects going and a lot of good energy for starting and then um, 
after a while I got to get all these things finished and um, it's great to have works in progress but once I get them all done it's sometimes hard to face a blank canvas but it all works out in the end so I've got quite a quite a pile of stuff to work on which I guess I really really kind of like uh, this is a combination of two photos um, one of this really great cloud and one of the canyon scene in the southwest and oftentimes you get the big huge thunderstorms coming at you and just really colorful and the sun coming through right under the clouds um, it's really a magnificent sight but can I do the the memory of these great storms of the southwest justice in paint if you're watching my video it's always kind of fun to show what I've been doing this month in my little little space here at the Poudre River Art Center uh, we're open on uh, middle of the day Thursdays and Fridays and of course first Friday we're getting big crowds on uh, first Friday between 6 and 9 now so please be sure and drop by thanks again